Welcome. So we're going to go through question nine here. It's a bit of a long one. It says Anna rode her bike to school one morning, a distance of 15 kilometers at an average speed of 20 kilometers per hour. It was raining in the afternoon. So Anna decided to take the bus home. The bus trip home took 30 minutes. What was Anna's average speed for the return journey to and from school? Okay, so a bit of a big question here. Let's kind of just picture what's happening. We've got this journey from home to school that Anna is going on. And we know that it's 15 kilometers to school and 15 kilometers back home. So that means in total, she's traveling 30 kilometers. Would you agree with me? Because it's 15 kilometers to school and then 15 kilometers back home. So 15 kilometers to school, then 15 kilometers back home. So in total, she's traveling a distance of 30 kilometers. Now we know that the bus ride home took 30 minutes. So we know that this took 30 minutes, but we don't know how long it took her to get to school on her bike. Now, once we know that I can write down that she's going 30 kilometers per, per something time, per something time here, but I need to figure out what that time is going to be. So I need to figure out how long it took her to get to school. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take this speed that I was given. So we know that on her bike, she was going 20 kilometers per one hour. And she was going at uh, the distance is 15 kilometers. So I need to go from 20 kilometers to 15 kilometers. Now there are ways we can do that, uh, but let's just do it the way that, you know, is tried and true in our unitary method. We could divide and let me do this in red just to keep a bit of color going. Uh, we could divide this side by 20 and divide this side by 20 and 20 divided by 20 is one. So it's one kilometer per, uh, now what is this going to be? It's one hour divided by 20. Now think about it. One hour is 60 minutes. So what is 60 minutes divided by 20? You can use your calculator here, but 60 divided by 20 is going to be three minutes. So that means in one kilometer, uh, she takes her three minutes to move one kilometer. The next thing I need to do is take this one kilometer and turn it into 15. And obviously to do that, I times it by 15. So you can see the power of turning something into one, because then it's really easy to go to whatever you need to go to next. Now I'm going to go three times 15 uh, in order to figure this out. Three times 15 is 75, uh, sorry, 45. So remember you got your calculator here, 45 minutes. So that means at a speed of 20 kilometers per hour, it took Anna 15, it took Anna 45 minutes to move 15 kilometers. So now I come back here and I know it took her 45 minutes. So that means it took her 30 kilometers. Uh, she traveled a total distance of 30 kilometers to and from school. And the total amount of time is 45 minutes plus 30 minutes. So that's going to be 75 minutes. So do you see here that what we've created here, which is very important is this is what average, this is what Anna's average speed is for the return journey to and from school. So we're taking into account the total distance. So that's to and from and the total time to and from school. And now we've got it in terms of this. Now 30 kilometers per 75 minutes. I obviously don't want my answer like this. I want to get my answer in terms of just one hour. Now, obviously going from 75 minutes to one hour is a bit tricky. So what do you think we're going to do? We're going to use our unitary method. I'm first just going to figure out what one minute is going to be. And to do that, I'm going to divide both sides by 75. So that's going to give me what one minute will be. So I'm going to get one minute over here. Now you've got your calculator. So for the time being, I'm just going to leave it like this. 35, 30 over 75 kilometers per one minute. Remember you got your calculator, so don't freak out too much here. Now I need to get this one minute to one hour. Well, there are 60 minutes in an hour. So I'm going to times them both by 60. And now this is where I'm going to get my calculator out. I'm going to go 30 divided by 75, which is 215. And then I'm going to times that by 60. My answer is going to be 24. So that means I'm going to get 24 kilometers per one hour. So it's going to be 24 kilometers an hour. And that's my answer. Uh, hopefully that made sense in how we did that. So we found the total distance to and from school and we found the total time 
to and from school. Uh, if you are happy with this, you can leave the video now. Can I just quickly talk about one other thing? But so this is just kind of a, a detour. The one other thing I want to talk about is a way that I feel that many people might make a mistake with this question. And that is, they might say, well, if I need to figure out the average speed to and from school, and I know that the speed to school, her speed to school was 20 kilometers per hour. If I can find the speed at which she went home on the bus, if I add them together and divide by two, would that not give me the average speed of the total journey? And the answer to that question is no, it would not. Uh, you, you cannot do that. Uh, I'll link a video in the description below that talks about this in a bit more detail. Uh, as long as you know you can't do that, that's fine. Uh, but you have to go through this process here in which you're kind of uh, doing it this way. You, you can't add together the average speeds of something, then divide it and get your answer. I'll provide a link uh, in the description just kind of talking about why you can't because it's a bit of a detailed explanation. Um, but yeah, hopefully that made sense and how to question, answer question nine. I'll see you in the next one.